Welcome to our YouTube channel, Movement Matters. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the hamstrings, the group of three muscles that attach from your sit bone all the way to the back of the knee. A lot of cases, people think that the hamstring uh, bends the knee, but it also helps extend the hip, and we'll be showing you that in a little bit. You'll see in this video that Mary Joelle is showing you that yes, the hamstrings do bend the knee. However, they're very three-dimensional and the body's three-dimensional. We have two hamstrings on the inside that attach to the inside of the tibia and one on the outside. So the hamstrings do bend the knee, but they can also bend the knee with slight tibial rotation. All the more reason to make sure that we train ourselves and condition the hamstrings in a three-dimensional fashion. Now the hamstrings also are what are called biarticular, so they help extend the hip, as you'll see Mary Joel doing in that situation. In order for the uh, hamstrings to help extend the hip, a classic hinge pattern is noted here with Mary Joelle. So as she comes up on the way up, her glutes, her low back, and her hamstrings are actively working together to get her to stand up nice and tall. Now, if you combine the movement of bending the knee and extending the hip, you'll get to see Mary Joelle working on hip extension with a bent knee. Very classic for somebody who wants to use this, uh, these hamstrings for cross-country skiing, running, walking, hiking, etc. Another classic exercise exercise that you've seen and done before that uses the hamstrings in a biarticular fashion is the fact that when she's pulling the ball in, she's also extending her hip. That is a full on hamstring exercise. If you like these videos, please let us know. Drop us a line at info at sportspecialist.ca and let us know that you like it and we'll make many, many more. Thank you.